Hey guys, Natasha, welcome back to my channel. No, mm mm mm. Oh, got deodorant on my dress. We're gonna go outside, we're gonna go to the park. It's nice outside. I'm gonna bring my iPad, maybe watch some Netflix. Well, I don't know. We're just gonna do activities without feeling guilty. Lately, I've been really feeling guilty when I take time to myself. Like the entire week, I work, 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 like do my homework and all that stuff. And then come the weekend, I don't wanna do anything, but I'm like, I deserve it because like I work so hard during the week, but I feel guilty. So right now, I'm trying to do this guilt free. Step one speaker water bottle my ipad my phone got my keys and let's go out we have made it to the park it's a beautiful day let me tell you a little bit of my journey to being a content creator one of the reasons i want to share one has been time since i like shared the story i think the last time i shared this story was like maybe two three years ago on this channel and also a lot of people have been asking me recently on my tiktoks like how do you get started with content creation like what do people make fun of you all these things so i'm gonna tell you a story of how i did it and like how my little trajectory was and has been up till now and maybe i can share some words of wisdom you can have a little hoot a little laugh with me so sit down get your popcorn i don't know how long the story is going to be but we're going to try to get through it this is almost 10 years of a story so we're gonna we're gonna try to summarize it and it's gonna be good this all starts back in 2013 yes I started my YouTube channel in 2013. Before I started posting on YouTube, not only did I watch a lot of YouTube, but I also made a lot of videos that just like never got posted. And also at the time that I kind of launched my channel, sixth, seventh, like the last few years of elementary school. You know, elementary school, it's a rough time. Kids are mean. There's a particular person that had it against me, but that's kind of what drove me to make content because it was at a time where I felt really alone and I didn't have any friends really to talk to, but I found like this online community where people would post videos and you can like, it was kind of like a distraction right you could go on people are creative they share their, their ideas they post videos and like-minded people can come together and just kind of like watch the same things and like you can learn so many things on the internet so that's kind of like my why as to how I started I was alone I didn't have many friends at the time when I started my channel and I just kind of was looking for a sense of community so I had watched a lot of YouTube before that and I had made a lot of videos and then one day I was like you know what if these girls can do it, why can't I? I was in the Bethany Moda, Meredith Foster side of YouTube. I watched them religiously. They they were holding up the crown. They were the queens. Um, a little bit later, I got into like Jackie Ina, Patricia Bright. Like, we're besties. It's crazy how people make these videos online. And then they make such a big impact in other people's lives without them knowing. All these people that I've watched impacted my life so much at that time because as i was saying at school i was getting bullied i was not having the most fun time we didn't have like <laughs> the greatest or a friend group so they were like they were my besties they were my besties because i didn't have any now we know the reason that we started so end of elementary school i had a specific instagram that i posted like when a new youtube video dropped and one day i accidentally posted on my main instagram rather than my youtube instagram ended elementary school started high school I made YouTube, I did YouTube all throughout high school, you know, people would pick on me here and there, but then I was like, this ain't my first rodeo, like, give me a better line, like, if you're gonna make fun of me, like, come up with something good, like, you're not gonna stop me from achieving my goal. Yeah, I had a goal in the back of my head, and I said, if these girls and all these people can build an online community and have, like, this connection, I can do that too. Like, that was always, like, the fire in my bosom, like, oh my goodness, one day I'm gonna be able to be big and, like, meet all these people and then, like, make an impact, blase, blase, you know? So, even though people made fun of me in elementary school about my videos or in high school, I was like, I'm not gonna let you for stopping my dream. Because in my, in my head, I was like, how can I let negative Nancy from the corner stop me from greatness okay your negative comment lasts what 10 seconds ouch it hurts yes that is i cried <laughs> yeah whatever we're human i'm human i feel emotions but at the same time i'm like i'm not gonna let negative nancy stop me from doing something that i really want to do so you can tell me all your negative thoughts that you think and you think how it's funny that i share my thoughts on the internet and yeah that's fine but i'm still gonna do it because i enjoy doing it so you can go back to your corner and leave me alone to be here in my corner so that happened and then after a while people kind of like stop bringing it up because i i didn't give them a reaction like okay you're making fun of my videos and like what do you want me to tell you and i think it's so interesting because there are so many points in those first few years where i could have stopped and none of this that i have right now could have been materialized like 
I, if I would have stopped the first time someone made fun of me, we would have never met each other. You and I on the other side of the screen, we would have been locked in. We would have been besties, amigas. You know what I'm saying? So I think lesson number one in my little story time of my content journey, don't let other people stop you from something that you want to do because your comment wet lasts the five seconds that they tell you, the three seconds that it takes to read, but they're going to be living their life and you're going to be over here stopping from living yours because someone said something mean. What? Having been through it, yes, it was uncomfortable and reading negative comments is like not cute, but at the same time, I'm not going to let someone else's negative thought just stop me from doing something that i want to do and these are the moments when i think of people's story like when they were told no like oh no you're not good at this or you should drop out of school you should not do this like and all these people that powered through and are proving other people wrong honestly my biggest not only is my biggest inspiration if she can do it why can't i but also i'm here to prove people wrong it's funny i think it's funny how people will take time to say something negative tear you down and then years later when you're succeeding they'll send you a dm on instagram why are you sending me a dm congratulating me when you were making me cry before it's it's funny it's just funny how that could happen that little full circle moment i'm like i believe myself this whole time and you didn't and that's fine and that's fine i just the i just need to believe myself know that i can do it if she can do it why can't i and also me proving everyone wrong that's kind of what <laughs> fuels my fire anyways back to the story so that happened i did youtube throughout college here and there college got a little bit difficult right so sometimes i wouldn't post for months at a time because you know i had school work but i never stopped and there were so many times that i almost stopped because i was thinking natasha you've been doing this for how many years now when you haven't seen success you know people were watching but I would also compare myself to other people and i think this is where the second lesson um comes in comparison is the thief of joy i would compare myself to people posting online that kind of started around the same time and they blew up first and i was like when is it gonna be my turn like like i need to, i'm gonna give up now because jessica started this channel around the same time as me and she already has like 10,000 followers or like 10 million followers and i'm still stuck at the one i've learned throughout this time that you, the only person you should be comparing yourself is to yourself and comparing how far you came from the beginning see oh my goodness a year ago i was taking photos badly or a year ago my videos were blurry or a year ago i was doing this or whatever it is it ha doesn't have to be content creation a year ago i was doing this and like look at the progress that i've made so far and that one that lesson took a while to learn because it was hard seeing other people succeed around you that started around the same time and you're kind of thinking okay what's wrong with me what am i doing not correctly like i'm posting like it's not working for me and when i let that go and i was like you know what i'm gonna ride this until it's my time to shine and maybe it's not my time to shine now and i'm so gl glad that my time to shine has come as of recently where i'm in a spot that i can embrace it a little bit more i feel like if that had come a little bit younger i wouldn't have been as ambitious in other parts of my life and i would have just given those areas up and i don't think i would have been prepared if i had blown up when i was 12 years old i don't think i would have been prepared i don't think i would have been equipped to handle that even though it happened slower i'm still glad it's part of my journey okay back to the story so i was you know making content i was doing it throughout college and i was going to give up you know i was going to give up because at that point i was like six years in and i was like natasha you are six years into making videos and <laughs> there's not much going on like yes there were people following me and watching me but in comparison i was like i don't know if the the amount of work that i'm putting in is paying off to like what i'm missing around me and again that, that i still hadn't learned that lesson of like stop comparing myself to others so i kept doing my thing and right when the pandemic hit i was like yeah this is not gonna work out for me the whole time i was having fun making the content so that was fine but i was just at the back of my head i was like there's no way like that i need something needs to happen like i need to see a little bit more reward to what i'm putting in and all the work that i'm putting in so around when the pandemic hit of course tiktok came to me i started a tiktok at that time i was only on the charlie d'amelio side of tiktok so i was doing little dancey dances on tiktok and i started to see a little bit more fruit you know a little bit more payback for the work that i was putting in it was crazy to me that i spent so long on my youtube to get to the following that i was at that point but then on tiktok it came weeks 
within weeks but my youtube it took what at that point it was six years and i was like this is crazy i was like this might be my big break <laughs> this might be it so i had I was on my TikTok at the time and then I got shadow banned. This was in 2020. Once I got shadow banned, that's when I was give up, you know? Because I was like, okay, Natasha, let's be realistic. Sometimes you gotta be a little realistic to yourself. I was like, Natasha, this is what we're gonna do, okay? You need to listen to yourself. Is this worth doing it? You've been doing this for so many years. And yes, you have people following you, but it's not. It felt like I could do more. It felt like I could do more. And I was like, dang, I couldn't figure out what it was. So this is where I was reaching kind of like my the end, right? This was around 2020, 2021, and I was like, you know what, Th that's it. I kind of broke up with YouTube, you know, I've <laughs> I was gone for almost like a year at that time, and I was like, you know, that's it, I, I tried. I was like, I'm going to give up at this point. I had tried for eight years, and I was like, you know what, maybe I'm just not cut out for this. Eight years, it's time to let it go, Natasha. You have put in your good effort. A for effort. I feel like at that time, I was like, you know what, it's fine. It... I'll still take photos and create videos and capture memories because that's something that I've always loved and enjoyed. But it's just it's just not gonna be it for you. You know, you're just, just not gonna do it, right? So 2021 hits and I was like, the problem with me is that I'm stubborn. And I was like, you know what? I can't just give up. Cause what if it's this next video? Everyone's just one video away from just, you know, changing their lives or like one moment away from changing your lives one opportunity away from your life changing and i was ready to throw it all away eight years and i was like i'm gonna give it one last chance one chance and if this doesn't work so i had had that first tiktok it got shadow banned put that to the side i was like i'm gonna start fresh i'm gonna start new i'm gonna give it one last chance and if it doesn't work i'll give up I'll, for, I'll officially give up. It's been eight years. You gotta let it go, babe. You gotta let it go. One last chance. So I opened my TikTok, Natasha's Closet, and I posted a video. The video got 300,000 views within like 12 hours or something like that, or like 24 hours. And I was like, I just couldn't comprehend it. I went in thinking, I'm gonna post this video and it's gonna get zero views. And then it was gonna be like my time to break up with something that I've loved for so long. But in the back of my head, I was so stubborn. I made that video, got 300,000 views. First video I posted on that page, it got that many views. And I was like, I can't stop now. I can't stop now, this is my sign. I can't. So I, my last try is when it started working for me. Eight years, eight, years it took for my opportunity to start eight years and i'm proud of myself that i didn't give up then i started posting more and then i became consistent at it and then i kept going and i've had i started my tiktok i think january 3rd of 2021 we're almost two and a half years into my tiktok i had spent eight years on youtube and i think i reached 10k and people say it's not about the numbers but after a while when you've been doing it for so long and you don't see the progress that you think you want to receive it the numbers get to your head right eight years on youtube and i got to 10k i think it was within the first month on my tiktok that i got to 10k and i my brain was like this is crazy so i guess that's where lesson three comes in if you want it really bad you'll find a way to keep the motivation going so much time had gone by but i just i couldn't give up because i was like what if I'm so close? And every time that I'm, think back of like the journey that it was to get here, that I've been here, and it's a continuous journey that will keep going. It's like, I think of the moments like, oh my goodness, what if I had given up? What if I was like, oh no, I'm changing my mind. I'm not gonna do it. I give up, That that's, that's gonna be it. I'm just throwing in the towel. And I think I just always knew that I was too stubborn to give up. I'm just too stubborn, because I'm like, I, I just believe in, believed in myself that I could do it. I didn't know how I was going to do it. I didn't know when it was going to happen. I didn't know how long it was going to take. But I made it happen. Eight years. And then the rest has been history. I started posting on TikTok in 2021. I think when someone wants something so bad, they'll work their hardest to get there. Thinking back at it, it's crazy because there were so many nights where I would finish all my homework. It'd be like 2, 3 a.m. And then I would, time for me to go to bed. But I was like, oh no, I want to edit this YouTube video. And I would stay up till <laughs> who knows how long to edit a video and then be tired and go to class because I was 
I was trying to use up all my hours in the day to do the things that I needed to do, but also to nurture and water my passion that I've always had. That was my story, kind of. It was like a story with a lesson here and there. I do have another video here on my channel that kind of explains, I think with timestamps a little better of like how I got here, but this was just kind of like the emotional sappy side of the story version with things that I also wanted to share because if I, my thing is always like, if I could at least help one person to not give up or just one person to keep fulfilling their dreams, my job is done. If I reach one person and I'm able to change their perspective or just like get them to like believe themselves a little bit more, I accomplished it, babe. And it's crazy because there's no aha moment once you get to making videos and social media and all that stuff. Like it wasn't like, oh, when I, when I get to 10K, that's when I'll be successful. Then you hit 10K and like, oh, when I get to 50K, I hit 50K and then you keep going. And then you realize that it's about the journey. It's always been about the journey. I've enjoyed my time making content this entire time. Since the moment I started. Since with all the videos that I never posted. I've enjoyed it this whole time. It's just that I was like, I was like, come on. I, I, I just wanted to see a little bit of reward from all the work that I was putting in. And now that I finally am in that era, there's always another goal. <laughs> I'm like, I got here and I'm like, okay, what's next? How can I inspire someone how can I, like what's the next thing that I'm gonna do to help someone? I just know how much watching other creators helped me in a moment I felt really alone. So if I could be that for someone, I'm literally gonna cry. Because <laughs> because I know that how much that impact had on me when I was elementary in elementary school. So just to think that I might be doing this and it's helping one person out there to feel a little bit more seen, a little less alone. Like to have a bestie. That brings me happiness. And that's the end of my tale. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I'm gonna go have dinner now. It's getting a little chilly, so I'm gonna put this sweater on. That's the end of today's video. I'm still waiting for a couple of pieces to be delivered uh, so I can finish my room decoration. Hopefully they come in this week. And if they do, that will be next week's video. We'll finish up my room decor. I also need to tap in and do my closet and eventually my office, but that's an update because I know you guys love the room decor content and I'm like, girl, I just want everything to be delivered so I can start living, using the space till its fullest potential. I feel like I'm still like tiptoeing around my apartment, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, make sure to give a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Maybe we can do a and a next time. Don't forget to follow me on my t Instagram, my TikTok, subscribe to the YouTube. We are so close to 20K. It's actually crazy. <laughs> so thank you so much for everyone who's been here since the beginning, been here for a day, been here for three months. However long you've been here, you're welcome to the family. Welcome to the family. It doesn't matter how long you've been here. You're locked in. You're locked in. And thank you for watching my video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.